to the safety orientation for Highliner Foods. Please pay attention to the video to ensure that you pass the 40 question test and you're informed of what to expect on the job. All of the answers are in the video. Before you leave today, you must have the following. Safety glasses and cut resistant gloves. These will be issued to you by CTR. Make sure you bring them with you on your first day and every day thereafter. You're also going to receive a shoe flyer. This tells you what shoes to pick up, where to pick them up, and the cost of those shoes. You're also going to receive a start sheet. This has Megan's contact information as well as Greg, who is our safety manager, and also job important information for you. Please be aware that there is a time clock on site for you to record your hours. This clock has a CTR logo on it and requires you to clock in using the last four of your social. If you have any issues clocking in, please call CTR. Highlander Foods welcomes you and wants you to know they have two main priorities, human and food safety. Highlander wants you to be safe while you're working in their environment and they want the food that you're manufacturing to be safe as well. Please make sure that you wear all your issued PPE every day. Highliner Foods manufactures fried and frozen seafood patties, fish sticks, and hors d'oeuvres that are sold in grocery stores, fast food establishments, restaurants, and they're also served in school lunches. In this section, we're going to cover some of the company basics. There is no smoking allowed on the company property. Smoking is only allowed in the designated smoking area which is located outside the perimeter fence to the right of the gate guard. There are walking trails, benches, and trees in the designated area. Don't park in the reserved spaces. These parking spaces have an A on the curb and are saved for clients and visitors coming from their corporate office. These spaces are the ones closest to the building and next to the gate guard. There is other parking close to the building. Sharp containers or hazmat containers are found in the restrooms for the disposal of needles. Some staff has to take medication through injection and must dispose of the needles properly. Please do not stick your hands into these containers for risk of infection. Hearing protection is required on the production floor at all times and is found in boxes affixed to the wall throughout the facility. It looks like headphones on a cord. Loose fitting clothing or clothing with strings is not allowed because it can be caught in the machinery and cause you to be caught into the machines. Alright, who here has operated forklifts? Forklifts in this environment are only driven by their licensed drivers. All forklift drivers for Highliner Foods are put through a certification process. Do not go into the freezers without proper freezer gear on. These freezers are negative 20 degrees and require you to wear freezer pants, a freezer jacket, and gloves to be inside for long periods of time. There is absolutely no horseplay allowed in this facility. You're working in a production environment with machines, conveyors, slippery floors, and pallets, which can all be very dangerous if not taken seriously. We don't want you to get injured in the work environment. Please know that you can be dismissed from your assignment for not following the general safety rules and food safety rules. If you're ever unsure, please ask a supervisor or call CTR and ask for Greg, our safety manager. Report all injuries or property damage to a supervisor immediately, no matter how slight. Never take chances and do not tamper with anything that you've not been trained on. Keep your work area neat and clean and clear of trip hazards. Any materials that you stack up must be stable so that they don't fall on anyone. Please be sure that your boxes are not blocking exits, emergency stations, electrical panels, or fire extinguishers. Be cautious. The floors are slippery. The boxes go from a frozen state to a semi-frozen state, which creates condensation and moisture on the floors. Drain covers must always stay in place. Moving a drain cover creates a hole in the floor, which could be a trip hazard to someone else. Someone else could step in that hole and break an ankle. Pallets are never stored on the edge, walked on, stood on, or used as a work platform. Pallets must always be stored flat on the ground. If you're climbing a ladder or stairs, you must always have three points of contact. This means one hand on each rail, one foot on each step. Chairs and furniture are never to be used in the place of a ladder or step stool. While walking through the plant, please be aware of forklift operators. They're trained to look for people walking around but may or may not see you. Just as you wouldn't step out in front of a car on Cannon Boulevard, don't step out in front of a forklift.
Machines with a lock and a tag are in the process of being repaired and must be left alone. When a lock and a tag are applied, all energy is drained from the machine to ensure that it is safe for it to be worked on. Only the person who applies a lock and a tag are allowed to remove them and work on the machine. Fire extinguishers are hung throughout the facility and can be used to put out a fire. Water may not be used to put out a fire here. Any ideas why? Well, this facility has oil, chemicals, and electrical components that could catch fire and water would make this type of fire much worse. Learn the location of the exits and fire exits in your environment. Never block a fire extinguisher or electrical panel. These need to be accessible in the case of an emergency. There are two types of evacuations, interior and exterior. In the case of an emergency within the building, you will be instructed to evacuate out. This means that you go to your supervisor outside and you will be counted. Stay there because you will need to be counted again. So don't detour to your car or go to any other location because they're accountable for you. In the case that there is a threat outside of the building, such as a natural disaster, you will be instructed to shelter in, which means that you will go to the cafeteria. Please see your supervisor there and do not detour anywhere else within the building because they need to count you and count you again to be sure that they can report that to the responding personnel. Production assistants must wear cut-resistant gloves on both hands when using a knife. Any tool or utensil required for the job will be issued by Highliner Foods, such as pens or box cutters, since all of Highliner Foods' tools are 100% metal detectable. Knife strokes are always made away from the body and make sure that your hands are kept away from moving parts and pinch points. Do not bypass any guards on machinery and stop the machine before clearing a jam. Do not startle a saw operator or speak to them while they're operating the machine. This can cause them to cut their hands. When moving materials, turn your, with your whole body to prevent pulling muscles. If it takes two people to lift the material, use two people, especially if it's over 50 pounds. Do not attempt to move anything that is too heavy for you. You have the right to know about the hazardous chemicals that you will be working with. If you are asked to work with a chemical, you have the right to ask for a safety data sheet. This lists the chemical name, proper protective gear that you need to wear, and possible risks associated with working with that chemical. Each Highliner site has ammonia in the refrigeration system to cool the freezers. It's not a risk to you, but in the case that there is an ammonia leak and you breathe in ammonia, you must breathe fresh air for 15 minutes and then seek the assistance of the medical team on site. If ammonia comes in contact with your skin, it is an irritant, so you must rinse for a minimum of 15 minutes with cool water and then seek the medical team at Highliner Foods. No food or liquids are allowed outside of the cafeteria. These items are considered a contaminant beyond the cafeteria walls. All employees are required to wear a hairnet and beard net on the production floor at all times. These are located on the walls in boxes throughout the facility and must be worn at all times and discarded as you leave the production area. Not that I should have to mention it, but I must. You must come to work in clean clothes to prevent contamination of the food and are not allowed to wear clothing with sequins or small adornments that can fall off. Lab coats cannot be worn outside and long pants are always required. If you are ill, please call and notify CTR as well as eyeliner foods. Last but not least, but most importantly, there is no jewelry, piercings, fake nails, fingernail polish, or false eyelashes allowed in this environment. All must be removed before you enter the building. The only medication that is permitted on your body is a rescue inhaler. All others must be recorded with a supervisor and not on your body. Even if you just washed your hands in the restroom, you must wash your hands on the production floor. The process is wash, wash again, and dip in the iodine solution. Latex or nitrile gloves must be worn and in good condition at all times. These gloves must not be stored in your pockets or taken outside of the production area. Glass, brittle plastic, staples, paper clips, or wooden products are not allowed on the production floor. If any of these items are found, please notify a supervisor. There are three types of bins on the production floor red, gray, and white. 
Red and gray are for discarded items. White bins are for ready-to-eat products. These match the box that the food is packed in. All ingredients are labeled in the facility to avoid food allergy contamination. Allergens are stored with like items. Thank you for your attention. That concludes our training. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask now. If you think of anything later, do give us a call back and also have a great first day of work.